vamos a hablar sobre el género de, de los sustantivos. More we're going to talk about identifying the gender and some tricks, how to identify if something is masculine or feminine in Spanish, and even talk a little bit about some pluralization. This is just a little overview, couple tricks. There's a lot more than what's in this video, but uh, just, so, just to get started. First of all, we have the definite article, the, there's only one of them in English, the is the definite article, el a los las, so we have masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural. So we use those to help identify what gender something is in the first place. Also you have the a, an, some, or a few, I guess you could call them. These are the indefinite articles in English. And you can see them as un, una, unos, and unas. So it's a good way right away to see what gender something is and identify what gender it is by just looking at the definite article or the indefinite article in front of it, the a and some or few or the the. Okay. So most generally, you can look at a noun like. El chico. Well, that starts with L, so we know it's, it's uh, masculine, but it also ends in an O. So typically when a, when a noun ends in an O, it means it's masculine. El chico, the boy. And we can change the noun. Certain nouns can be changed for gender. You can do this with animals. You can do this with people, things like that. So la chica would be the girl. When would it be tough? There are certain, there are some uh, adjectives, I mean some uh, nouns, like uh, artista. Now, dentista. They end in ista. So, this is really sort of, you just change the, it could be a guy, could be a male artist, el artista, or it could be la artista. That's it. To pluralize it, you could just add an S to either one of those. Las and los, to turn those into plural. So there's an example where you can't do that. It doesn't work that way. We also have, for a couple other tricks, we have, well, this isn't really a trick. We have some nouns that just end in consonants. So it doesn't end in O, it doesn't end in A. What is it? This ends in an N, jardin, garden. It's just masculine. You can't change that. It's not going to change. It's not a person, an animal, or anything like that. So those sort of you're looking for clues like that, and you're looking for just just learning them uh, over time. There are some though, for example, como la universidad. There's a cognate, the university, universidad, university, feminine. You can tell by that, la universidad. How would you pluralize that? Universidades with an ES. That's interesting. So I'm adding an ES to, to that. So what kind of noun is this though? It's any noun that, well almost, I should say almost any noun that ends in an I. These words usually are TY or Y words in English. Por ejemplo, tenemos la libertad. They're usually somewhat like cognates too. Liberty. La unidad. Unity. See that? Ad, ad, ad. So, there's an example of these are usually marked as feminine. They end in ad. Another one like this is most, and these are usually cognates, in other words, they sound like English words, are most nouns that end in ion. Por ejemplo, la nación. Nation. It's actually pretty close. La nación is a real close one. Comunicación. We got that one, right? Unión. Union. No problem. La unión. So, and these all have accents, by the way. So, ión. So, most of the time is la, okay? Feminine. And you would pluralize these again with an ES. Las. Another kind of uh, noun that we can look at 
I always like this one, say, el problema es un problema. So if you get the, the saying there is that el problema, problem, in Spanish, es un problema. It's a problem because it ends in A and it's masculine. So that's a, that is a problem, and it's a very common problem with people learning Spanish as a second language because their general uh, inclination is to put a lot in front of a noun that ends in an A. So what can we deduce from this is that lots of nouns that end in EMA, El Sistema, uh, EMA, and we can also say AMA, sorry, El Programa, El Sistema, El Tema, El Problema, there are a lot of them. And you could just look up a list, I'm sure, on the internet. But for the most part, ama, ama are actually going to be masculine. It's a weird one. We also have some nouns that end in O's. Radio, por ejemplo. And la. Why? I don't know. Maybe there's a uh, grafia, something like radiograph or whatever that used to be on that. That comes from that word. La mano. And. So you see the problem with that. What's the best way? It's just to learn these by making the mistake, I guess. And that's okay. Make the mistake. La mano. What else? Oh, and just a little other thing. There are a lot of problems with pluralizing nouns in Spanish, too. Let's just take like a lapis. It's a masculine noun that ends in a uh, masculine noun that ends in a consonant. To pluralize a Z in Spanish, you go to C E S. Now, the other thing is be cautious of nouns that end in a uh, nouns that end in a consonant also, and how you pluralize those. Is it an E S? Is it an A S? Depending on what kind of noun it is. And also you know, don't always think a noun that ends in a consonant is a masculine noun. So, just a couple tricks for now. Especially like the ion, the ad, the ema. Uh, those are good tricks and those are pretty solid that those are going to work for you. Uh, for, for just a little hint. And obviously, again, as I said, you can look at the definite article or the indefinite article. And that's always, if you got one of those, then that's really going to help you out.